My name is uh, Dr. P.C. Patel, retired as a scientist on an agricultural university, Anand and this faculty professor, Parul University of Vododra, and I am residing at Anand, Gujarat. So the today, the topic of my YouTube is super hybrid napier grass is a good fish stock for bio CNG production. So it is a picture of the super napier grass at National Dairy Development Board, Anam. And they brought the stem cutting of super hybrid napier before 10 years. And uh, they have developed at Mujukova NDDB farm and given to the farmers. And at present, in Anam, Kerala, and other parts of the India, the farmers are growing the super napier. And it is just so popular that farmer told as a bullet gas because it grows is very fast, vigorous, and high potential, and it is perennial and remain in the field for five years in the same field. So people are planting super napier grass or they are feeding the animals and silage purpose. But recently, the peoples of India have more interest in bio CNG and some peoples of the India has also interested the bio pellet from the super hybrid nature grass because it has a higher calorific value as compared to the other agriculture produce or waste materials. So super heavy nipper grass growth at uh, 60 days. So you can see the growth at two months. Welcome to the world of sustainable energy with nipper grass, a powerful resource for bio CNG production. Preparation of the field, sowing, plowing, and ridge being created by tractor. Super heavy nipper grass thrives in well prepared soil, a long term crop. It requires two to three plowings before planting. Ridges are created four feet apart with organic and chemical fertilizers added to enrich the soil. But before planting, the farmer are requested to take the soil sample representative and know the initial nutrient status. And then they should have to apply the nutrient in soil in the form of the manures, then uh, inorganic fertilizers, and also add the biofertilizers. Super hybrid grass planting. So you know that uh, super hybrid apple grass propagation through stem cutting. So you have to select the mature stem cutting of super hybrid apple grass having two nodes. So one node buried in soil and one node keep outside the soils. And we have to cut down slant. So, and planting at 45 angles, so more surface area. And more, more surface area, so more water absorption and more nutrient from the soil. So, there are two methods of planting. One method is vertical planting of nephew stem cutting at 100 centimeter by 50 centimeter spacing. Seeded 8,000 stem cuttings are required per acre. So farmer planting napier stem cutting vertically on the ridges. So the farmer should have to plant it vertically at 50 centimeter apart and between two lines, the farmer should have to keep 100 centimeter mean one meter distance. Horizontal planting of stem cutting. So horizontal plant planting of stem cutting at 120 centimeter by zero centimeter distance, stem cutting put of horizontally instead of vertically in an operation, in opening furrow in the ridges. Seed rate 12,000 to 15,000 no per acre. So here we are getting the higher forage crop production as compared to vertical planting. Open a uniform ridges at four feet distance apart by tractor. Make a furrow on ridges of the depth of four inches with the tractor and supply and apply farmyard manure and apply fertilizer 
in open furrow in ridges and mix it with the kodali and then put up supernapier stem cut streaks horizontally. Cover the soil and apply irrigation slowly in furrows so that ridges cannot be washed out. Propagation is simple by planting stem cuttings horizontally in ridges, ensuring no gaps. Because here we are planting more, so there is no need of the gap filling. This method ensures high yield with an impressive 350 to 500 tons of green forage per hectare each year. Means you can obtain 200 tons of green forage per acre in each year in six cutting for the BioCNG purpose, but for a seven to eight cutting for the animal feeding. Super high vinifier planting and growth stage. So it has a high crop of protein, 16 to 18%, low cool fiber, so more digestible, digestible to the animals. And it has a dry matter content range from 18 to 24% depending on the stage of the harvesting. As we prolong the harvesting, then dry matter content is increasing and vice versa. Super hybrid apiary grass has higher yield potentiality. Hybrid apiary grass, a perennial crop, vigorous growth and deep root system, so produce maximum forest production per unit area at time. It thrives well in tropical and subtropical climates. It is very exhaustive crop, so required no required to need monitoring of nutrient periodically in soil for sustainable forage production. It produces an astonishing 350 to 500 ton of green forage per hectare annually, making it ideal for both fodder and bio CNG production. Irrigation of high napier. The first irrigation is given immediately after planting. The plot should be irrigated heavily. Subsequent irrigation should be given at weekly interval for about two to three weeks, by which time the planting would get established. Frequency of subsequent irrigation depends upon the soil type, rainfall, and weather conditions. The crop needs regular irrigation at interval of 10 to 15 days in November to February months and 6 to 10 days interval during summer, that is March to June months depending on soil type in our Indian condition. For bio-CNG purpose, it should be harvested at 60 days interval. The grass is chopped into small pieces for better microbial digestion, converting it into biogas efficiently. So it is a combined harvesting machine and the cost ranges from 18 to 24 lakhs. So harvesting and chopping of napier grass by combined harvesting machines. So both it can uh, harvest the hybrid napier grass and also make the chop and so that we can directly transport it to the digestion chamber. Then biogas plant with digester in operation. So it is a biogas digesters you can see. Then how much biogas evolved? from the super high vinifier grass has been tested in collaboration with the Biopic Private Limited, a CBG plant installation company based in Surat, Gujarat, India. So with microbial pretreatment, 100 kg of high vinifier yield, 6 kg biogas containing over 62% methane, ideal for bio CNG production. It is a cost-effective and environmentally friendly energy source. India first Napier grass based CBG plant is set to transport energy production. It is located in Dangadra, Surendranagar district, Gujarat. It is uh, about 100 km from Ahmedabad. So it will be benefit local farmers and the community while con contributing to a greener future. Napier grass is transforming how we produce clean energy, join the revolution and discover the potential of this remarkable grass for a green nor future. Contact information for expert consultation. Want to learn more about Napier grass or set up your own bio CNG plant? Reach out to Dr. Kishi Patel, myself, the pioneer of this green revolution. 
So, Dr. P.C. Pandey, retired research scientist and guest faculty, Professor Paro University, Anand Gujarat, India. So, I am residing at Anand. My email ID is uh, patelpc12 at the rate of gmail.com. My mobile number plus 91 I told that I am residing at Anand, Gujarat, India. So, Napier Grass powering the future. If you are liking my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my channel. So my channel at the rate of PCP Anna underscore soil health at the rate of PCP forage. So it is a, my YouTube link. So thank you very much. If you have any problem <coughs> related to superhybrid apiar grass cultivation, then stem cuttings because the two stem cutting is available at NDDB Anna. Then uh, I am also expertizing some in soil health because uh, I told that hybrid napier grass is an exhaustive crop. So we require to monitor the soil periodically and accordingly we have to add the nutrient in soil for higher production for unit area and time so that we can of 